All right, big day for deliveries on the farm today. All right, there we go. That's load number two for this week. Walter brought it by. Got the fancy trailer today. It's gotta be about four foot long. About as big around as a garden hose. Man. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't fall off the roof. All right, welcome back. It was a really busy day for deliveries on the farm today. Uh, we'll go through two of those here in just a minute to show you what, what was brought onto the farm. But there's a third one that's gonna stay a secret for a little while, but it's super important to us. It's right over here in the carport and it says fragile on it. I think it's Italian. No, dear, that says fragile. Oh, well, it's a major award. <laughs> I, I won it, it's a major award. Won it. Yeah, well, actually, we paid for it, but yeah. um, anyway, that's that's a big thing for us, and it might be a bit before you guys find out what that is, but there'll be videos on that at some point. But big big day for deliveries. We had many tractor trailers coming up our driveway. Uh, the driveway, no problem, but getting on the driveway is a little bit of a challenge for them, so I appreciate them taking up the challenge and mastering it. So uh, let's see how it goes today and the rest of the weekend. So we had been making progress on the mulch, but then Walter just showed up and dropped off another tractor trailer load. Falling behind. All right, big day for deliveries on the farm today. Not only are we getting the mulch, but we're getting a new piece of equipment. This is gonna help us out a lot around here, especially taking down that barn, because this excavator has a thumb, and it's also gonna help us clearing land. It's gonna be really a game changer with so many trees to pull out. It's gonna be super helpful. All right, there we go. That's load number two for this week. Walter brought it by. Got the fancy trailer today. Well, this afternoon, actually, with the electric roll-up tarp as opposed to the manual roll-up tarp. He's in there just cleaning it out. It gets almost all of it, but it leaves a little bit left behind that he's gotta go in and use the board and the board pushes it out. That way we, we get it all. This stuff's expensive, so we don't want to leave any in the truck. But Walter's great. Our driveway's a little tough to get into, and he likes the challenge. So he gets this big old truck up in here and gets us loaded off. Really appreciate what he's doing for us. All right, welcome back. North Carolina is a strange place sometimes, the weather around here. It was 92 degrees yesterday. Nothing but blue sky and real hot and humid. And today, this morning, it's like 55. Cold, wet, it rained most of the night. Um, it's quite a change in weather. Uh, first thing today, I gotta get the tire back on this to fix the boo-boo I made last weekend. And then Liz is out of here. It's just gonna be me. Um, no daughter, no wife. Hopefully I can stay out of trouble but I'm just gonna try to keep myself in the tractor and, and keep moving mulch. And that'll be most of the day, so let me get this tire back on the truck. All right, tire's back on, boo-boo solved. And the spare's put back where it belongs. So Liz is gonna take off. I don't have to worry about her driving around on the spare with no spare. So she should be good, so let's go jump in the tractor and start moving some mulch. All right, so it's like borderline too wet out here to be doing this, but we're gonna do it. It's the weekend, it's the only time we have to do it. It did rain pretty much all night, so it's a little, it's a little wet, but again, but we're weekend warriors and it's the only time we have to do it, so we don't have a really much choice. So we're just gonna keep scooping mulch and Getting it out there under the blueberry beds. And unfortunately for you, you're gonna have to look at my silly face and listen to my voice all day. Um, so I'm the only one that's around. But the work's gotta get done, so um, 
hopefully we'll be able to get some some good progress on these blueberry beds. I think we have eight rows done out of ultimately 44. I know we've we tilled 43, but I we're gonna do 44 rows. <clears throat> And we're just trying to keep up with the mulch deliveries. It was a big, big day for deliveries yesterday on the farm. I think I already alluded to that, maybe showed you something already. Um, but more importantly, we have a much more important delivery coming. It's only nine weeks away before the herons bring us our new chick on the farm. So um, we have so much to do. We need to have the barn down and site prepped before the baby comes. We're getting that barn built just a few weeks after and everything has to be ready to go so at some point in time we'll probably stop doing the mulch because it can wait a little bit and completely switch to the barn project it's got to come down so a lot more to come okay i've been at this for about two hours now and um it's nice and boring and dull all at the same time like I enjoy myself, <laughs> but it is kind of monotonous. It's just back and forth. It's a lot of commute time. So that's why it takes so long, but hopefully you can tell from the pile that I've actually made a dent in it. I think we're about halfway through one truckload there, which makes sense based on what I've gotten done. Let me take you to the top of the hill and then I can show you what I've managed to get done so far. All right, here's what it looks like from the top of the hill. You can see I've been working way down there down at the bottom and let's see if I can count one we're at nine and a half rows out of 44 not quite a quarter of the way there yet but it's I mean it's really it's really nice to see the progress it feels like we're doing something finally and getting these things prepared for the blueberries which would be great so we run into all sorts of critters out here on the farm that is a black snake. It's a big one too. It's got to be about four foot long, about as big around as a garden hose. Those are the good snakes. They eat the bad snakes. We generally leave them alone, but you never know what you're gonna see out here. Just waiting for our friend the snake to move along. Sometimes they move at their own speed, and it's not the speed I'd like them to move at. So hopefully he'll get out of my way soon so I can keep on working. There he goes, slithering off into the grass. Moving a little faster now that I caught up to him. Yeah, it's just a black snake. So the black snakes actually eat copperheads. Copperheads eat the mice and the rats. So they're all good. We really try not to get rid of any of them. You know, do our best to keep them away from the house. About all we can do. All right, well my wife's back and I'm pretty excited about that. So I think I'm kind of done tractoring for today. We're at 13 rows completed. So I think that means I got five done in five hours. So of one an hour, that seems to be about how it's going and I didn't quite get through a full tractor trailer load of mulch, which sounds about right because I was actually doing the shorter rows. So, but it was probably three quarters of that load. So I think we're making good progress here. And it didn't really ever get nice today. It's still a little chilly. It's very damp, wet. Kind of gross out here. I did make a ruddy, muddy mess of the, the side of the field, but we can fix that later. Uh, I wouldn't do that if we were gonna be using that field for crops or cared about the grass or things like that. Um, you know, those rows eventually are just gonna be where the the, the pasture chickens run, and and we can clean that up when we're all done getting this getting this in. We can smooth it all back out and reseed it it'll be fine so that's it for today uh, we'll both be out here tomorrow so that'll be good um, I'm gonna be doing maintenance and Liz is gonna be in the tractors plural because I think she's gonna move mulch and do some tilling so that'll be good I'm gonna get the tractor over and 
get it fueled back up. We used quite a bit of fuel today, so that's it for today. So yesterday was cold and wet. Today is sticky and humid and wet, and it's just continued to rain. I mean, this is what it looks like around here. It's just ponding everywhere, standing water. So we're not gonna be able to do any tractoring today. Uh, yesterday was borderline, and today it would just create an absolute mess. Totally gonna change plans, which <laughs> is what we do around here. So instead we're gonna clean out the barn because that is really gonna be priority number one coming up really quick. Before we do that, I'm gonna brush hog all the grass in that area because it's all waist high and wet and trying to walk through that, you just get completely drenched. So that's what I'm gonna do first thing this morning and then Liz and I are gonna, oh, she's back today. So Liz and I are gonna attack that barn, get, in, get it cleared out and get it prepped for demolition. All right, I never, I know it never shows up on camera because it flattens everything out, makes everything look small, but this grass is like at least waist tall and I gotta wade through here anyway, but I'm gonna get wet, but I'll, sh <laughs> I'll show you how tall this grass really is. Um, and that we need to clean this out, so I'd rather not get completely drenched while cleaning this out. So I'm gonna set the camera down And I don't even know if you can even see me through the grass, but that grass grows really great around here and it's above my waist. That's how tall it is. And combine that with the rain and the grass is super wet and you can see I'm already getting drenched and I've only walked like five feet into this grass. So I don't want to be walking back and forth through that grass all day. I certainly don't want my wife walking back and forth through that and getting all wet. So got to get it mowed down. And then we're going to clean this barn out. totally brush hogged around the barn and I know that field is still very tall but it just we can't do that today I have to stay focused because we got to get this barn done because I could definitely get distracted with mowing that field and it would be very satisfying for me but that's not today's thing we got to do other things so next up is I'm gonna help Liz get one of these giant cardboard boxes out of the barn. We're gonna move that into the shipping container and then move all of the peach baskets. She's gonna work on that. And then I'm gonna move on to other things. I gotta fill that ditch in over there. That way I have room to move some of the other items out of the barn. Gonna keep going. That rain's really picked up again out there. So we've gotten kind of used to this in the spring it is technically still spring even though it was 90 the other day and it's going to be 90 later this week last year it rained every single weekend but one from the beginning of january all the way until the beginning of may there were only three days on the weekend that didn't rain and one of them was our wedding day which was great it was a beautiful day and then one other weekend 
And for us, that's really hard because I think I've mentioned before, you know, we have full-time day jobs, so we work all week long. We rarely have much time to, to work on the farm during the week. So the weekends is the only time we got. And so we really gotta be creative on the weekends because when it's raining like this and the fields get all sopping wet, we can't be out there with machinery. We have to do other things. And um, it's just tough. It's tough to really get to where we need to be you know, with, I, I understand why farmers get grumpy about the weather. It's never quite right. I've made a career out of cleaning up other people's messes and apparently I'm doing that on the farm here too. There's a big hole right here that was definitely purposefully dug. I have no idea why, but I need it filled in because I can't store anything in here amongst the Virginia creeper and poison ivy because it's really difficult to, to get anything in here over this big old hole. I need to fill it in. but. I never noticed before there's these big pieces of canvas. I I don't know what they were used for, but it's on the ground and it's buried in here and and it's really heavy and stuck in there, so I don't know how to get it out of here, but I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna go get the forks and go put the forks back on and maybe I can lift up with the forks and drag it out of here. Maybe that's what I can do. We'll see how that works out. By the way, it's pouring again. <laughs> Actually trying to limit the amount of skid steering I'm doing out here because when it's wet like this, it does really damage the ground pretty bad. So trying to keep it to a minimum, but this is part of the plan today. Let's see what we can do. Sorry about that, I think you're gonna be okay though. Okay, this is so not a great weather day out here. But when you're working with mud, sometimes you just gotta realize that you need to stop because you're only gonna make it worse. But I achieved what I needed to achieve. So that hole's filled in, or at least the part that is a problem, and I can get in here and we can stuff some things in and out of the way, try and stay out of the rain. In this area, um, the roof actually doesn't leak under here. The tin's pretty good. And the rain tends to go that way. The rain and the wind go the other way. So it actually stays pretty dry in here, which is good. So we'll be able to put some stuff up in here because we don't have a lot of storage space and that barn's coming down. So what little storage space we had over there is all gonna go away. And that barn's not getting built for, I don't know, like four months which is not a lot of time with everything else we got going on in our life, but 
at the same time, it's a long time from now as far as where to store everything. But I'm gonna put the forks back on the skid steer. We're just about done skid steering and then we'll start moving stuff around. I don't know if you can hear the rain. Let's see, underneath this metal roof. Can you hear that? <laughs> it's raining really hard. Days like today, it's just hard to do anything. The goal is to move stuff from that barn into the shipping container. But man, you can't do that in miserable wet, so uh, we're making the best of it. I'm gonna keep trying to move the skid steer stuff I can do. So I can move all the skid steer implements. At least I'm inside a piece of machinery. And a couple other things I can move. But the stuff in the barn, I don't know. I think just like every other weekend, I think we're on plan B. We're going to be going to plan C. I don't even know what that is at this point, but. Being, <laughs> being a farmer is. Subject to the whims of nature. It really just doesn't cooperate. Okay, the rain's let up a little bit. Made some decent progress on getting the barn cleared out. I was able to get the whole front of the barn cleared out, all the different skid steer implements except for the post driver. I'm gonna need some help doing that one. And where we store the tractor, that's cleared out. The back of the barn is almost done as well. Take you back there and show you what I got left to do. All right, still gotta get my boat and a fuel tank. Haven't used this boat in years, but I, I couldn't ever, I don't know, get rid of it. I have so many memories in this boat. I actually started another YouTube channel, but I never, I never panned out. I didn't even, never put any videos on there. I called it this old boat and it was gonna be basically rebuilding this boat and then all the adventures I was gonna go on fishing with my daughter, which we did, but instead I enjoyed the moment instead of trying to film it. So, gotta get the boat out of here. Those plastic barrels gotta go. And then there's a fuel tank behind there. I'm about to try something, you know, <laughs> you never know if your idea is gonna be brilliant or really dumb until after the fact, so. We're about to find out together whether this idea is going to be brilliant or stupid. Let's see how it works out. I think that idea qualifies as brilliant, if I'd say so for myself. Last thing to move out of here, other than these plastic buckets, which they can get demolished with the barn, is this fuel tank. And then everything will be out of here except for the peach baskets inside, and there's one more skid steer implement over there, and then the post driver out front. So, going really well, despite the weather. Okay, the only thing left on the outside perimeter of the barn is that post driver attachment. Everything else has been moved. So we're getting really close to being ready to tear the barn down. And there's probably a lot of people that I know have gotten comments from others about saving the barn wood or things like that. This is just a piece of garbage. It, there's nothing here worth saving. I, I know people are really nostalgic about old barns and barn wood, but trust me when I say that this is just really kind of a piece of junk <laughs> and it needs to go but we're going to have to cut down this lot there's a lot of goopy messy muddy topsoil that's got to come off of here and then we're going to have to build it back up because it is a, in a bit of a low spot so we're going to have to build it back up to get drainage away from the new barn that's coming in here so all that has to be done before the builder gets here and really all that has to be done before the new chick gets here which is only nine weeks away, which is kind of scary. It's not, I mean, I have kids, so it's not scary and having a baby, but um, the amount of stuff that we gotta do between now and then is kind of scary, but we'll get it done. Uh, 
we're gonna we're gonna try inviting a bunch of friends over and some family members uh, they're always making comments so I don't give them a call to come up and run some equipment so um, we'll see how that works out uh, my, my, might be the greatest day ever and it might turn into an absolute disaster but we'll find out so I do need Liz's help to get that other one out of here that other uh, that the post driver out of the front so I gotta go track her down and and uh, we'll get that one out of here and then the only thing that'll be left is the stuff on the inside of the barn which shouldn't take too long to move out of here the sun's come out which is super necessary but at the same time now it's just getting ungodly humid out here because it's been raining for two days but we got to get this place dried out. It is so wet. See you soon. All right, finally got my wife back with us. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop listening to my voice. She's going to tell you what we're going to do. So next, <laughs> we really need to address the leak or leaks on the roof. Yeah, we seem to have sprung a leak. Yeah, yeah. we noticed some uh, rain had come into where we, our bedroom where we sleep. I think that's the main spot we've noticed so far. But yeah. we'll just look around. Yep. and you're probably like, Dude, you have holes in your roof. Of course you have a leak. <laughs> not not in the part of the house that we live in. That's yeah. generally not what's going on. So having water dripping on us in our bedroom is a new thing. That is a new thing. Because <laughs> you had put up a, a patch. A very crude patch. <laughs> yeah. A year and a half ago or something? Yeah, at least a year and a half ago. Yeah. So Maybe almost two years ago now. It's lasted a while, actually. Yep. So now we just have to re-patch it up. Yeah. Pretty certain we know where it's leaking, but yeah. uh, we're gonna go try to figure that out. So up the ladder we go. This is Liz's favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. I love it. Very yeah. comfortable. <laughs> yep. And she asked me not to film her butt, so we'll see you when we get up there. <laughs> right back into the creepy <laughs> attic. I promise I won't, you know, try to scare her this time. I'm carrying your child. <laughs> <laughs> You were that time too. Yeah, that's true. I'm just a bad person. <laughs> okay. It smells mildewy in here. Hey, you want to take the light? Yeah. No, I, I promise. <laughs> oh, I'm coming right behind you. Mm hmm. All right. It's been a minute since we've been up here. It has. It smells. It smells. It does smell. Just Probably because it's musty. been a little wet. Yeah, and warm. Yes, and warm. Okay. You can see right oh, there. Yeah. yeah. That the plywood is wet, and that is the underside of that patch. Mm -hmm. I put it on the outside. So. All right. So the part of the roof I got to get to is up over there, and. Uh, I don't like this. I really. Neither do I. I already don't like this. I already don't like it too. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't fall off the roof. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that spot is very slippery. Seems like it. Is this? It seems like um, it. <laughs> wow. Uh, there's, it's, that wasn't good. No. Um, <laughs> I'll try one more time. Be but very that, careful. Do you see it? Like yeah. that black grayish area? Yep. It's very, it's like slimy. Ew, that's weird. <sighs> okay. You could like crawl. <laughs> I don't know what's easier. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go up and around the chimney. I know that doesn't make sense, but I need to avoid the slick spot. Yeah. And I don't want to go that way. No. Nope, that wouldn't be a good place to to slip. Are you sure you should be doing this? No, I'm never sure. <laughs> I'm never sure. This is always a bad idea. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I see the patch. Okay. 
Uh, Is it, does it look slick? Can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> does it look slippery? It doesn't look like the smartest thing I'd ever do in my life. <laughs> there are probably other things we could do. Okay, I've formulated a plan. What? I'm gonna shimmy down there and there's some dirt that I need to brush off. Okay. And I'm gonna brush the dirt off and then I'm gonna try to shimmy back up here. If it doesn't work out, just know that I love you. Stop. <laughs> Okay, listen. What? My idea is feeling worse by the moment. I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> How about we climb back down? Yeah. We put the ladder over there and it's not dark. No. So it was dark the last time. <laughs> I'll be able to see what I'm doing this time. Right? And is this a carpenter bee? Yes, okay. that's a carpenter bee. And it'll work out better. Okay. So I'm going to come back down the roof. Okay. Somehow. Mom, if you're watching, <laughs> I took every safety precaution. I was being very safe. Every safety precaution. Okay. How are you feeling? <laughs> uh, I uh, better. Now that I'm on the ground. Yeah. I bailed out. It's um it's like just out of reach. Yeah. It's just out of reach. I'm very proud because <laughs> sometimes you just still go for it, even when things are a little sketchy. Yeah. But I'm proud that you bailed out. <laughs> it's not my style. No, it's not, but it should be. <laughs> it's 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 who I'm trying to change myself into, yeah. right? Yeah. Be more deliberate about right. my actions. Yes. And maybe make better choices. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm trying to use this to put the tar on. This is all just temporary until we start tearing the house apart and rebuilding it. Right. But I decided I'm gonna like build some sort of long pole extension. I can stay on the ladder mm -hmm. and mop the tar on there that way and i don't ever have to get on that roof it is literally it's just in the right spot on the roof where no matter which way i try to get there it's just completely inaccessible yeah and there's there's literally almost no grit left on the those those shingles so combine that with the slimy slime that's on there <laughs> and <laughs> it's it like being actively raining and and it's raining <laughs> and it's just not it just was a bad idea. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> kind of disappointed in myself. No, I'm not. I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess we'll wait. Yep. Yeah, until the we'll rain try. stops. Mm -hmm. Then we'll try again. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I don't like ladders. The roof's actually worse, which is pretty surprising because I really hate ladders. Right. But it's worse. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't really care for them either. Okay, so we have like two more things to move yeah. today to call it a, an accomplished day. Yeah. So let's get let's to go, it. Let's go get those done before yeah. it gets too rainy. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Let's go. All right. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a funny moment to ourselves. Yes. <laughs> I was just, just telling him how excited I am that I'm so comfortable on the tractor. Meanwhile, I started the tractor right up and then backed out and tried to go forward with the bucket all the way down. I was driving around with the bucket down. It sounded like a car crash. I'm waving at her. I was like, what? And I was like, it sounds really clunky, but I don't know what that, what, it's not my problem. Yeah. It was, anyway. But yeah. I still am excited that I'm getting more comfortable with the, the yeah. tractor. No, you're getting way better at it. It was just a funny Despite moment. Despite that moment. Yeah. We didn't record it. I might yeah. show you if we had, but we didn't. So, um, But it did It did manage to start raining as soon as we went out there to do everything. So I'm soaking wet. And yeah. we're wrapping it up for the weekend. There's not much left for us to do. 
yep. at this point, other than to get unmuddy. Yes. So thanks for joining us. <laughs> and as always, life is adventure. Let's keep it that way.